Homa City, first horse meat, then the mysterious pink slime, now human meat. A shocking discovery has been made in an Oklahoma City McDonald's meat factory and other McDonald's meat factories nationwide. Meat inspectors reportedly found, what appeared to be, human meat stored in the meat factory freezers of an Oklahoma City meat factory and human meat already in trucks right outside the factory ready to be shipped to McDonald's restaurants. Health inspectors immediately demanded inspection in various McDonald's meat factories across the country and horrifyingly found human meat in about 90% of the factories inspected thus far. The USDA United States Department of Agriculture, has seized McDonald's production and shipping and will call for more meat factory inspections and restaurant inspections. The FBI is also investigating the factories. FBI agent Lloyd Harrison told Hustler reporters, the worst part is that it's not only human meat, it's child meat. The body parts that were found across the U.S. factories were deemed too small to be adult body parts, this is truly horrible. The situation brings up many unanswered questions. How long have they been using human meat? Where did they get the children from? Were they already dead when brought into factories? Investigators and inspectors are currently being deployed for intensive investigations all around the U.S. Here is another clip, when earlier McDonald's was caught. This is the production base of Husi Food Company in Shanghai. A member of the American SOI group and supplier of meat products to major American fast food restaurants throughout China, including KFC, McDonald's, and Pizza Hut. Here are your chicken McNuggets and beef patties using either a Big Mac or layered beef burger from KFC. But an undercover reporter's discovery may cause the food giants to lose more than a few customers in China. Beef is long past its due date. I never worked at a food processing plant before, so I didn't know better. But now if I went to a KFC or McDonald's restaurant, it wouldn't taste the same. Here the footage shows workers apparently dumping already made but unused beef patties back onto the production belt along with raw beef. And here, defective chicken nuggets are picked out but only to be collected and put back onto the production line along with raw chicken. The reporter allegedly obtained proof showing that the violations are systemic rather than just limited to a few employees. Here's what appears to be a company email that was sent this past June asking production workers to use beef that expired in November last year. The company keeps two different books. One is done on the scene according to what happened, the other is done by special personnel for review or examination. According to the whistleblower, Husi Food has been cooking the books so the company could cook whatever it wanted, whenever it wanted. And that's why the violations weren't uncovered until now, despite inspection tours by the companies it's supplied to. In the wake of the revelations, the Shanghai Municipal Food and Drug Administration closed operations at Husi Food Company and seized meat products suspected of being past their expiration date. Authorities also ordered all meat products at McDonald's and KFC outlets that were supplied by the firm to be taken off the shelf. On Monday, McDonald's Corp and KFC owner Yum Brands released an apology to Chinese consumers and said they will stop using the meat supplier. Wahjing, CCTV.